Hello and welcome to the UX Coach. My name is Andy Parker. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the differences between mentoring and coaching and how these two things can work together to be able to help you achieve your goals and progress in your career. So let's start off by talking about mentoring. When you're looking for a mentor, you're looking for someone who does a similar job role to you or the same job role as you, for example, UX designer or service designer that you can learn from. You're looking for someone who has done many of the things that you are doing now, but all of the things that you're trying to do that you don't know enough about or don't feel confident about doing. So it's a really great relationship to have when you're trying to expand your uh, professional network, for example, the opportunity to be introduced to other people who might be able to help you develop those skills and to be able to get a handle on how to improve really key aspects of your craft. For example, you may never have done a card sort with a workshop group before and you want to get some advice on how to approach that. This is where your mentor comes into play. A lot of the time the people that I speak to who are looking for mentors and that I work with are in a situation where they're in a company where they're the designer of one. So they don't have that peer network available to them in the company to be able to go to and ask for advice. This is a really common thing in startup companies and is really common within that middle ground of people's careers as you're trying to sort of become more and more honed in with your craft. So if we just wrap that up, mentoring is a really great way to be able to get access to knowledge and learning and some advice on how to do things within your role within the company when it's not readily available to you within the company. It's also really great when you do have access to that, but you need a more safe space to be able to be more comfortable in admitting to the things that you're not confident with, which sometimes we aren't always able to do at work. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, then mentoring is definitely for you. On to coaching. So coaching is a very different landscape where mentoring is about asking someone for advice and then giving you that knowledge and that information with the ability to be able to move on or possibly even working with you to try and sort of plan it out and sort of get forward in it. A coach is someone who is going to spend time asking you really probing questions to understand what's going on and what's preventing you from being able to overcome the challenge of learning something yourself. If you look around on the internet, you'll probably find a lot of information about coaching relates to terms like executive coaching or leadership coaching or performance coaching. And these things are a little bit, shall we say, nasty. Really, what coaching is about is being heard. And it's incredibly powerful, especially for people who are in those early stages of becoming a leader. And when I say leader, I don't necessarily mean that you're a manager. You might just be responsible for a project. That being said, it's quite often that it's people that are moving out of that midweight phase within their career and going into more management and leadership roles where they're responsible for people and processes rather than the day-to-day -day of practicing that find coaching the most beneficial. This is because a lot of the times when you're reaching that point, it's not about learning how to do thing A or thing B. We're not really thinking about what's the best design game to use in this particular workshop to get to this outcome. We're thinking about how do we communicate the way in which we are going to get to this outcome? How do I work with my fellow colleagues and my team members to make sure that I'm enabling them to do really great work? And it can be a very deep and emotional experience, but one that ultimately is there designed to provide you with the psychological tools to be able to overcome the barriers that you have for yourself. The key differences with coaching and mentoring is that mentoring is all about getting advice from people and actioning it. Coaching is all about looking into yourself, looking at the resources that you have available to you and unpacking them in a way that allows you to look at the possible options that you have for being able to move forward in the particular challenge that you're facing or the goal that you're trying to get to at the moment and come up with some tangible actions of things that are within your power to be able to move forward. 
So if mentorship or coaching is of interest to you, if you think that this sounded like something that you want to explore further, head over to theuxcoach.com where you can read more about me, the UX coach service, one-to-one coaching and team leadership. You can also check out the podcast, the UX coach podcast, which is available through Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and anywhere else that you get your podcast from, where I speak to a whole variety of people in various different stages within their design and research careers. And we share and explore their particular challenges and the problems that they're facing. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon.